Have you ever woken up from a dream and thought, where did that come from? One night, you're flying through a city made of jelly beans. Dreams are weird, wonderful, and sometimes even a little scary. But what if I told you there's actual science behind all of it? Tonight, we're diving into the mysterious world of dreams, exploring the stages of sleep, and even unlocking the secrets of lucid dreaming. Have you ever woken up from a dream so vivid, so real, that it took a moment to remember where you were? Maybe you were flying over sprawling cities or having a conversation with a long-lost friend. These nightly adventures are a universal human experience, a sort of private cinema that plays for each of us after we close our eyes. For centuries, we've wondered about these mysterious narratives. Are they just random firings of a resting brain, or do they actually hold deeper meaning? The fascination with dreaming isn't just about the strange and fantastical stories we experience. It's a fundamental curiosity about the hidden workings of our own minds. Understanding dreams is kind of like being handed a secret key to a part of ourselves that operates in the dark. The journey into the world of dreams is really a journey into the very core of our biology and psychology. It's an exploration of what makes us, well, who we are. Every single night we spend hours in this alternate reality, yet for most of us it still remains uncharted territory. We often dismiss dreams as fleeting nonsense, but science is starting to reveal a different story. These nightly tales aren't just noise, they're actually a product of a highly active and purposeful brain. They're deeply connected to how we learn, how we process emotions, and how we solve problems. By peeling back the layers of sleep, we start to see that dreaming is an essential part of a healthy and functional life, not just a quirky side effect of slumber. Exploring the science of dreaming is a bit like becoming a detective of the mind. The clues aren't found in the outside world, but within the electrical pulses and chemical signals of our own brains. Scientists, now armed with advanced technology, can actually watch the brain as it dreams, giving us an unprecedented glimpse into this once hidden process. And what they've found is nothing short of extraordinary. The dreaming brain isn't resting at all. To understand dreaming, we really have to first understand the landscape where dreams actually occur, sleep itself. Sleep isn't just a simple state of being off. Instead, it's a carefully structured journey that the brain takes every night, moving through different stages in a predictable cycle. Think of it maybe like a building with different floors, each serving a unique function. Broadly, we can divide sleep into two main types, non-rapid eye movement or NREM sleep and rapid eye movement or REM sleep. Throughout the night, your brain cycles through these stages and each cycle lasts about 90 minutes. You'll typically experience four to six of these cycles in a single night of healthy sleep. The journey begins with NREM sleep, which is actually divided into three stages. The first stage is that light, drowsy period when you're just drifting off. You might feel your muscles twitch and you can be easily awakened. This is the shallowest phase of sleep. Soon after, you descend into the second stage of NREM sleep. Here your heart rate begins to drop and your body temperature begins to drop as your body prepares for deeper rest. This stage acts as a gateway and we spend a significant portion of our total sleep time here. It's a crucial period of transition, leading us toward the most restorative part of the sleep cycle. The third stage of NREM sleep is what we call deep sleep or slow wave sleep. This is the most physically restorative stage of all. During this time your brain produces slow powerful brain waves known as delta waves. It's incredibly difficult to be awakened from this stage and if you are, you'll likely feel groggy and disoriented for several minutes. So what is the brain actually doing during these different stages of sleep? It's definitely not just shutting down. During NREM sleep, especially deep, slow wave, the brain's activity changes dramatically. Brain waves become slow, large and highly synchronized. Think of a stadium clapping in perfect unison. This synchronized activity helps memory consolidation. The brain moves day's info from short-term storage, like a USB stick, to long-term storage, like a hard drive. Deep NREM is essential for cementing facts and skills. Then, as we move into REM sleep, the brain transforms. Slow NREM waves give way to fast, chaotic waves resembling an awake brain. Hence, paradoxical sleep, brain awake, body asleep and paralyzed. During REM, certain regions light up. The amygdala, the emotional center, becomes highly active. The visual cortex flares up, making vivid cinematic dream imagery. Meanwhile, 
The prefrontal cortex quiets down. Less prefrontal control equals sign bizarre, illogical dreams. REM allows associative creative thinking, linking ideas and memories in novel ways. That's why dreams form strange narratives and surreal landscapes. Nightly, NREM and REM dance together for mental and physical health. It's like two maintenance crews for your brain. So we know when we dream, primarily during REM sleep, but the bigger question remains, why do we dream? What is the purpose of these nightly stories? This is one of the most debated topics in neuroscience, and honestly, there is no single universally accepted answer. Instead, there are several compelling theories, each offering a piece of the puzzle. One prominent theory is that dreaming is a form of emotional therapy. During REM sleep, our brain reprocesses the emotional experiences of the day in a neurochemical environment that is low in stress-related molecules. That lets us strip painful emotional charge from difficult memories, helping us cope with trauma and daily anxiety. Another powerful theory says dreams are a rehearsal space for real-life threats. The threat simulation idea suggests dreaming evolved as a biological defense. Being chased, falling, facing a conflict, our brains can practice fight-or-flight responses in a safe place. Today, it shows up as dreams about a stressful work presentation or a difficult conversation. A third view highlights problem-solving and creativity. The dreaming brain connects ideas in an associative, illogical way because the prefrontal cortex is less active. That state can spark novel insights and creative breakthroughs. The structure of the benzene molecule. Paul McCartney's melody for Yesterday Dreaming lets the mind think outside the box, nightly brainstorming with the subconscious. What if you could become aware that you are dreaming while the dream is still happening? What if you could not only recognize the dream, but also take control of it, becoming the director of your own nightly movie? This fascinating phenomenon is known as lucid dreaming. A lucid dream is any dream in which the dreamer knows they are dreaming. For some, this awareness is a fleeting moment of clarity. For others, it is a gateway to a fully conscious experience within the dream world, allowing them to explore, allowing them to create, allowing them to interact with the dream environment with full intention. It transforms the dreamer from a passive observer into an active participant. Scientifically, lucid dreaming is a unique hybrid state of consciousness, blending elements of both REM sleep and wakefulness. Brain imaging studies of lucid dreamers have shown something remarkable. While the brain is clearly in a state of REM sleep, there is a simultaneous reactivation of those brain regions associated with higher order consciousness, particularly the prefrontal cortex. That logical, self-aware part of the brain that is normally quiet during REM sleep comes back online. This allows the dreamer to access self-awareness and working memory, enabling them to recognize the dream state and remember their intention to control it. The potential applications of lucid dreaming are vast and exciting. For individuals suffering from recurrent nightmares, lucidity offers a powerful tool to confront and overcome their fears within the dream itself. Instead of running from a monster, a lucid dreamer can turn and face it, ask it what it wants, or even transform it into something harmless. Beyond therapy, lucid dreaming is a playground for personal growth and exploration. Our nightly journey into the world of dreams is far more than a series of strange, forgettable movies. As we have seen, sleep is a meticulously organized process. Dreaming is one of its most vital and fascinating functions. Deep restorative slumber of NREM sleep, emotionally charged, creative chaos of REM sleep. Every stage plays a critical role in our mental and physical health. Understanding this process helps us appreciate that sleep is not lost time. It is intense, essential work that makes our waking lives healthy, productive, and emotionally balanced. It is the foundation of daily well-being. The exploration of why we dream reveals the profound intelligence of our brains. Dreams as overnight therapy, as a threat rehearsal simulator, as a creative problem-solving engine, or some combination of all three, they are not random noise. Dreams help us process our emotions, consolidate memories, prepare for future challenges. By paying attention to our dreams, we listen to a deeper part of ourselves. Bizarre landscapes, illogical plots speak the language of the subconscious revealing fears, desires, unresolved conflicts. Furthermore, the possibility of lucid dreaming opens up an entirely new frontier for human consciousness. It shows the boundary between sleeping and waking is more permeable than we thought. A good night's sleep is a gift we give ourselves. It nourishes the body, the mind and the spirit.
So the next time you drift off to sleep and find yourself in a dream, flying, solving problems, or just watching your brain's late night movie, remember, it's more than just imagination. It's your mind organizing, repairing, and maybe even exploring who you are. And if you've ever had a lucid dream, tell us about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this dream journey with someone curious.